Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Space with me, Get Daved. I remember the name of the game. So when we last left off, I believe I'd pretty much taken care of the Cravers. Uh, well, let's see what we can do about them. I believe, uh, sorry, I've just come back from PAX and like an 11 day vacation, so I feel fantastic, but I'm a little out of touch. Let's just end the turn and see if anything terrible happens. I got a feeling. Yeah, okay, they showed up. Not surprising. Oh, and they're, oh. That's all right, so they've got some kinetics. They've got some missiles. Oh heck, let's just go auto and see what happens. I'm sure these guys are wasted. Yep. That's... F oh, and then they just cruised on by? Boy! The subtleties of this game's interface sometimes upset me. Open borders with the United Empire? Okay. Alright, most importantly we've got some legendary swords ready to go. Bertis, this is my home system according to this thing written up top. the cost of this, I really don't think I'm going to go that way. Yep. I will go for that one, and then after that, more ships. And Wrath has got nothing going on for it. Baron, I believe that's good for research. We could terraform, but honestly, at this point, I'm not 100% sold on uh, my terraforming options. <laughs> and we're farming on a hydrogen. That's a good sign. Go for that to increase the food production, and past that they're going to be fine for the next little while. And beyond Bertis, no real production. It's kind of a disappointing turn, but whatever. Alright, next goal in our war against the Cravers, I sort of see it as having two options. On the one hand, it would be nice to polish everything off on the side, then we could go for their heart after that. If we also controlled Iso, we could effectively cut their empire in half. Yeah, and then we could move forward and either or move out in either direction. And I think that's what I'm going to do. You know, once I got to my guns. A lot of people commenting on uh strategies I was using on the ass kicking I was getting. Uh, I'll automate this one. These guys shouldn't really be able to hurt me. Yeah, minimal damage taken. That's good. Pilgrims are hating me less and less every day. So yeah, some people were discussing, like, the recent pounding I took in the destruction of my entire fleet, and... Some people were saying, oh, well, he wasn't really researching weapons. Well, you've got to remember, relative to my enemies, I believe 
I can hold down Alt or Control to research both of these in one turn. Yeah, whatever. Um, relative to my enemies, I did have decent military technology. Colonize Asteroid, I think, is overdue. There we go. Hold down shift, that just guarantees you get a little bit of research transference, and you know what? How's that gonna go? That seems too risky to me, I don't want to dump an entire 2560 research just because I was trying to complete this, even though I'm sure it would overflow correctly. I believe we've discussed the perils of alliances and that they often come with as much baggage as they bring solutions. Alright, I like the look of this. Indusa. You look full of food and happiness. Ooh, full population, hey? That means it's colonizing time. Ice 10 I can also mitigate. This could get me a monopoly on proto-orchids, so in one turn that'll be the thing to do. Yeah. I'm happy with this choice so far, and we'll yeah, I'm just going to leave them so they prompt me for what to do again next turn. And Lynx. They've still almost fully maxed out their population. Amazing. And good for them. You can make me weapons. It's only one more turn for the Legendary Sword, you can make me lots of weapons. So, if I haven't mentioned it already, I'm mildly concerned that the Cravers are just going to build... Oh, good. Significant defenses. Uh, okay. Significant defenses against uh, the missile weapons I'm employing right now. But, based on how well they worked against me... Oh, no. Yeah, okay, let's find out. This doesn't look good, to be honest with you. Should have seen if I could uh, recuperate my hero. Camouflage will actually do me pretty well here. Oh, and these aren't the right ships. Oh, no. Some of them are all right, but... This is gonna be ugly. So many little ships. 
which also is a somewhat effective uh, tactic against missile barrages since your attacks tend to be focused. Took out some of them. Absolutely not. And stop talking to me. It's crazy as I did so much more damage to them, but it was all loaded up on. It was all spread out over guys who were overkilled. If only the game possessed any form of tactical combat so I could f split up my offense just a little bit. Oh, that's not a meaningful contribution. As a matter of fact... That's no good. And dense plasma shields, I believe, are obsolete. AD interception, yeah, that's much better. You can click this button here to upgrade the production of all of these ships in their respective queues, which is nice. Try the auto upgrade button here. Good enough. They came after me with kinetics, which is something I wasn't really expecting. Kinetics, like, the battles are resolving at such long range that, uh, This thing's amazing. Yeah, the battles are resolving at such long range that kinetics really aren't as much of a threat due to their accuracy problems, but the damage can really pile up against you. And now they're super defending against my new weapons, so... You know what, this is the Defender. I'm gonna try it, because according to this, my best uh, damage per pound is actually on Plasma Slugs, and they're not guarding against it tremendously. My beam technology is unfortunately very uh, out of date right now. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Those are just memos that a bunch of these things are getting bumped up. Pleone, make guns. Oh. There we go. And Lava, honestly I would love to have your production bonus right now. It's gonna be a little tricky to farm here. Bonus on Arctic, yeah we're gonna need all of these. I believe I'm currently leading in FIDs, at least, which is a good sign. The Cravers definitely struggle with maintaining uh, their strong start. 
it's an extremely front-loaded species that, well, they tend to lose every good thing they had going for them, to be honest. Oh. And we can get more people, therefore more production at the homeworld, that's important to me. Actually, at Jovanus, too. Oh, whoops. previously falsely reported that Jovanus was the home world, but you know what I mean. It is a major manufacturing center. Yeah. I wonder how these guys are going to do. Here's the era of having a whole bunch of little ships might be the new thing. Oh my goodness! I missed this all along? There could be something really good there. Yeah, it'll be worth possibly wasting production on a colony ship just to get someone out there, I think. Athena is now the one I'd, that's ideal for fighting against them. Unfortunately, it takes a really long time for my missiles to get there. So I was hoping that they wouldn't rip me to shreds before it was too late. So we got our four automatic kills. There'll be two more, but I won't have anyone left alive. On missiles. There we go. Yeah, unfortunately they keep building the little guys, so we're gonna have to rethink a bunch of stuff. Oh, they're taking it back. Only with a few ships. Well, this will inform our research decisions.
Okay. To the military screen, everybody. We need to rethink one thing. Okay. The little guys are still going to be suicide missile boats. That I'm actually pretty happy with. The Athenas, on the other hand, I'm going to have to rethink entirely. Can put decent shields on them. Oh, let's give them more invasion power. Armor would actually have a meaningful impact, but I'm going to hold off on that for now until I can get slightly better armor. Uh, no, I'm gonna undo that last one. Okay, this is kind of a weird ship. From many points of view, it sucks, but... The important thing is... The Cravers are tending to use beams and shields together. And they're attacking me with beams. So I'm gonna try... To match the Athena against... They're beam fleets. I mean, this is kind of tricky because in a lot of our engagements they can attack first. Oh yeah, don't forget to press the button. Alright. These guys are maxed out. Hyperscale farms? I don't think so. Make me some cash. Also, this will probably be worth it in the long run. happy about that. But they are preventing me from running away. We may have just lost that legendary sword, but it's being blockaded there, so... We'll see what happens. We'll do one more turn here. One more turn in this crap storm. I'll just auto this one. Blew the crap out of one of their ships and then was destroyed one paper cut at a time. How the Baron? Oh, yeah, well, I already knew about those guys. Please. Okay. Got some teeth there now. Current dilemmas. 
they can also form much larger fleets than I can, and that's really started to have a cumulatively annoying effect. Go for this just to get access to some better abilities down the road. Good, Hyperion Monopoly restored. One fire put out, only eight million to go. I don't like how they're prancing around my territory. Go, Procreator! Jadonix. Yeah, it's been a while since we had some good news, so you know what? Colonize. It's tundra, but we always need to start with food. And I would not rather have an arctic. Okay. That's an investment in our future. Like children! And Lynx, you can actually colonize this too. Right, I already told them to. Okay, now about that invasion fleet. It's not unreasonably strong, but I'm willing to bet that we don't match up particularly well. Asteroids tend not to benefit particularly much from any exploitation specifically, but, um, you know, they don't have terrible bases, so... Alright, and I think I'm going to end the video here, and next time, blah, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'll see you there!